Good evening and welcome to this evening's Compline. Let's spend a few moments in quiet, bringing to God the things that we've done well today and the things that have not gone so well, the things that have given us joy and the things that have brought us sadness. When on life a darkness falls, when the mist flows chilling, Paths and sounds lost in doubt, loveless and unfulfilling. Reach us, Jesus, from your cross, though we feel forsaken. Keep us through this aching night till new dawns awaken. Come, Lord, where we sit in darkness. Come, Lord, where we sit in light. Come, Lord, into our homes and houses. Come, Lord, into our lives tonight. We come with our broken lives, our fragments of hopes and dreams. We come with our human longings. With all that we are, we come. To be greeted with grace, welcomed in love and made to feel at home. In the knowledge that we come to you, our living God. Lord, when we fall, lift us. When we stumble, catch us. When we despair, fill us with hope. When we cry out to you, hear us and hold us until we fear no more. We cried out for help and found that you were there, for you will never leave us. We cried out for peace and found that you were there, for your peace is as no other. We cried out for hope and found that you were there, for all our hope comes from you. We cried out for joy and found that you were there, for your spirit fills us with joy. You, Lord, our help, our peace, our hope and in our joy. Last Sunday evening, the reading came from the Gospel of John, chapter 6. The feeding of the 5,000 and I'm just going to read verse 9. There is a boy here with five barley loaves and two fish but what is that among so many? Well I don't imagine he was the only one with something to eat but he was the only one who shared but it seems he was willing to offer all what he had to Jesus and Jesus made the whole thing possible by sharing his bread and his fish. I wonder what effect offering everything to Jesus had on that boy's life. Well, we'll never know. But I'm sure it made a difference to not only him, but to the 5,000 who saw that miracle. We can learn so much from children. He never thought that what he had would be enough, but he knew that Jesus could make it enough. Just going to read you a poem by Eddie Askew. Lord, not much to build on a picnic lunch for one young boy, who you might think would have been better off at school than following a crowd around the countryside. So easy to ignore a boy his head below your eyes, not old enough to have his own opinions and much too insignificant to affect the outcome. Easy to talk over him as they discuss the situation with all the gravity that comes with age. Although if wisdom came with beards, we'd honour goats and sometimes I think we do, but that's another story. Yet he's the one the boy whose gift you used beyond all reasonable expectations. While they were working out the odds and figuring the angles, he was opening his hands to give. It wasn't much, and yet it was enough to start the feast. Let's pray. Lord and Father, Every time I feel I do not have anything of worth to give, 
remind me of your miracles. Every time I look at the world and despair in my heart, remind me that with you all things are possible. Every time I feel lost and in darkness, remind me that you are the way and will lighten my path. Every time I feel unworthy, remind me that you have made me worthy. Lord, take the little I can give. At times I hesitate to offer it all. My talent seems so small. But if my loaves and fish can be of use, I offer them with joy. Please take them and in your creative love, transform both them and me. Lord, hold our turning world in your healing hands and our hearts in your loving arms. Amen. And let's join together in the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord of our past, our present and our future, walk with us this night. Lord of our lives, our hopes and our dreams, let them be always directed by you. Lord of our secrets and our openness, let us hide nothing from you. Lord, let us never forget that with you all things are possible. You are strength and fortress. You who hide us in the shadow of your wings. Lord, give each of us this night a rest-filled sleep, that tomorrow we may rise with you in our hearts, your purposes to fulfil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me this evening, and may I wish you a restful night. Stay safe. Good night.